and the films of a risque nature. Known for her light-hearted bawdy double entendres and breezy sexual independence, West made a name for herself in Fordville and on the stage in New York City before moving to Hollywood to become a comedian, actress and writer in the motion picture industry as well as appearing on radio and television. What kind of husband did you think I should get? Mm, I should take a single man, leave the husbands alone. Haven't you ever met a man that can make you happy? Sure. Lots of times. I am delighted. I have heard so much about you. Yeah, but you can't prove now, uh, take care of these men. Yes, give them all my address. Well, I, I see a man in your life. What, only one? I'll never forget you. No one ever does. Aren't you forgetting that you're married? I'm doing my best. I changed my mind. Yeah, does it work any better? You know I've been mad about you from the first time I laid eyes on you. Well, you're my whole world. What do you want to do, drive me to a madhouse? No, oh, I'll call you a text. You certainly know the way to a man's heart. Oh, funny, too, because I don't know how to cook. What'd you do, get your hair cut or have your ears moved down? Great town, St. Louis. You were born there? Yes. What part? By all of me. <laughs> To get a resistant temptation. There'll always be more. Oh, well, I'm caught between two evils. I generally like to take the one I never tried. Mae West was a maverick of her time, challenging censorship standards with her bawdy, seductive characters. In 1932, Paramount Pictures courageously signed up the Broadway star. Joey, Joey, well, well, come here and kiss me, you dog. Oh, oh, oh. Let's take a look at you. Despite her box office pull, her blunt sexuality on screen kept rubbing the senses the wrong mm. way. When I'm good, I'm very good. But when I'm bad, I'm better. <laughs> Censors began deleting overly sexy lines and scenes from her films. I'm sorry you think more of your diamonds than you do of your soul. I'm sorry you think more of my soul than you do of my diamonds. <laughs> to fight back, West increased the number of double entendres, hoping that these censors would delete the most offensive lines and miss the subtler ones. I wish you'd forget your principles, Ruby. I must have you. Your golden hair, your fascinating eyes, and alluring smile, and lovely arms, your form divine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this a proposal or you take an inventory? 1935, going to town. Good evening. Well, we'll agree on that anyway. Come in. I brought everything you asked for. So I see. Well, uh, shall we get down to business? Yes, yeah, sit down. Thank you. Cigarette? No, thanks. Drink? No, thank you. What, no vices? I'm afraid we aren't getting anywhere. Mm. Did you notice that too? 1936, Klondike Annie. Oh, well, I'm caught between two evils. I generally like to take the one I never tried. 1936, go west, young man. You were a big hit tonight, Miss Arden. Yes, there was a great crowd out there, full of politicians. I felt I was putting a bill before Congress. 1937, every day's a holiday. Now I am the proprietor of the Brooklyn Bridge. Here's your receipt. 
She sent for me, so what? I'm talking to her. And learn to talk polite. Now listen to me, Carrie. Don't you tell me how to talk. Uh, time somebody did. Stop this before I forget who I am. You like to meet Fifi. Then you want to come up and see me. Nineteen forty, my little chickadee. Young lady, are you trying to show contempt for this court? No, I'm doing my best to hide it. Nineteen forty three, the heat's on. Hello, Miss Lawrence. I uh oh, excuse me. How do you do? <laughs> I've been dropping things ever since I met you yesterday. I brought you a few roses. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, it's just a thought. I didn't know you had the soul of a stage door, Johnny. Well, I, I just discovered it myself. Well, uh, sit down. Make yourself at home. I'll be right back. Thank you. Why, you have a beautiful home here. And you look simply ravishing in that dress. <laughs> you think so? What would you like to have to drink? Well, uh, do you have any lemon squash? Not if I can help it. How about a little Napoleon brandy? Oh, no, I wouldn't like to take anything that belongs to somebody else. Well, you wouldn't mind. Napoleon made this himself before he met his Waterloo. But you better not fill mine up. No kidding. Aren't you going to have any? Well, I don't drink, but I like to keep my friends in good spirits. Mae West continued to make movies until 1943 and then stopped. She continued to perform after her movie career was over on stage, on radio and on television. She did return briefly to the silver screen in 1970. Mae West died November 22, 1980 at the age of 87 in Los Angeles, California in the United States. <laughs> 